Hey everybody, welcome back. So we've been seeing a lot of comments coming up with people asking how to get rid of snake mites. Now there's a lot of different ways we can go about doing that. There's one in particular today that requires a little bit of explanation. So I wanna go over it. And that is the hot strips, the pest strips. And we wanna talk about how we use these, how effective they are and how safe they are for our snakes. We're also gonna talk about mites in general Kind of what they look like what their life cycle is and so forth so today we're gonna plan on answering some questions and hopefully put some folks minds at ease about this on intrepid exotics whether you're a lifelong keeper or just getting started help us encourage responsible keeping conservation and public education in the interest of keeping our reptiles safe and healthy as we protect them for future generations you're invited to spend time with us as we experience these awesome animals together on intrepid exotics now, as of time of filming right now, it's Tuesday, January 16th, 2024. We just got word yesterday from Brian Barczyk's family that he had passed. Uh, he's not only a huge loss to his family, but a huge loss to everybody in the reptile community. If you're not familiar with him, uh, he has owned and operated the Reptarium up in Michigan, started work on a huge aquarium complex up there, and he's just been a huge mentor to so many people in the reptile community. So if you're not familiar with him, by all means, go look him up on YouTube, watch some of his old videos. I know a lot of us have been doing that a lot lately. And, um, you know, for those of us that want to contribute to, you know, send flowers and things, the family was asking to contribute to the Legacy Aquarium that they're still working on, um, make those resources serve the best, best possible uh, purpose there. So I'm gonna put the link in the, uh, going to put the link to their Facebook post down in the description of this video. So you guys can go check that out. Uh, huge loss to the industry. He was a great guy and uh, he will be remembered for a very long time. Now, quick description of what snake mites are. Anybody that's had any kind of sized reptile collection for any length of time has probably seen them. They're about half the size of a flea. Uh, they're little black specks and you'll typically see them buried up underneath the scales of a snake. Um, sometimes you'll see them really well up under the jaw, around the eyes, around the pits in the mouth and so forth. And I've seen issues with them ranging from one or two, um, all the way up to when I picked up my albino Burmese, uh, when he was younger, he was covered in them. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I know these pest strips work is because I've used them on him. And I've used these on hundreds of snakes before. I've not seen any adverse reactions at all. But there's a reason for that. You can misuse these just the same way you can misuse anything else. So I'm going to show you really quick. And I've already opened this up because this is my second recording. I had to focus a lot of whack on the last one. So, so this is how you find them. You're going to get them in this white case. And you'll have a little hook here you can use. You plug it into it, you hang it up wherever you need to, which is a technique. If you've got a big infestation, you may want to put one on either side of your reptile room just in case. But how I've used these in the past that I've found that they work best, and you're going to hear all kinds of stuff from, you know, take the water bowl out, make sure that they're in a little cup with holes poked in them. I've never done that. Now, I'll explain to you how I've used them before. And I've effectively taken care of every mite infestation I've ever used them on, and I've never seen any bad effects on any of the animals. So I'll open this up. This white case, we don't need it. It comes this size right here. It's just one strip. And of course, since I've had this out already, it's already cut. So if I've got a snake in an eight foot enclosure that has mites, I'll make sure that the enclosure is all stripped out. Clean it out really well, disinfectant, put paper down, change and disinfect the water bowl. And then I will put a full strip in an eight foot enclosure. I'll cut it in half and I'll put half on either side of the enclosure. Now, <clears throat> if you, if you, one of the best ways I've seen to use it, if you don't want to just have it laying down there and the snake laying on top of it and get a little screw like this, just put it into it and screw it to the inside wall of the enclosure. Just about halfway up, just screw it to the side and leave it there, put one on either side. Um, 
and you've got to make sure that you're downsizing as you get into smaller enclosures. That's a full strip for an eight footer. If I've got a four footer that's got a problem in it, I'll take half that strip, I'll cut that into quarters, and then I'll have one on either side of the four footer. And there again, if you're using tubs and things like that, you'll want to take one of these and cut it in half so that you're looking at about an inch wide strip that you put down in a tub with them. Yeah, these things are potent, they work. And I'm gonna venture to guess anybody that's had any adverse reactions to them have like taken the whole thing and thrown it into a small tub or something like that with a young snake. If you do something like that, more likely than not, you're probably gonna have some negative impact on the animal. That's a lot of material. It's a lot of that gas in there for a small snake in a small enclosure. Um, so you do have to scale this to the size of the enclosure form. Like I said, one strip cut in half on either side of an eight foot enclosure will wipe out the mites in there. Uh, so you do have to be careful as far as that goes. Uh, as far as you'll hear people talk about taking the water out, I've never taken the water out. I do change it every day because as that stuff off gases, it'll settle down in the water. You want to make sure you're changing it and you're not letting it accumulate in there. But it will last about two or three weeks. Now, that works out really good because the life cycle of a mite, you're gonna find different numbers depending on where you look, typically around 19 days. So when you initially put it in there, over the course of that first couple days, it's gonna kill off all of the mites that are currently alive in there, but there's always gonna be eggs. Now, if you stop treating it after a couple days, those eggs are gonna hatch and then you're gonna have a reinfestation. You have to start all over again. So when I put these in an enclosure, put them on the sides and I leave them there for a good two or three weeks. Now, over the course of that two or three weeks, they're gonna to start to stiffen up. You can see when you first get them, you know, they're really pliable, like rubber. And as they off gas, they're going to stiffen up. And you know, about the time these things get really hard to bend, they're no good anymore, you throw them away. But you, they'll, you, know, you can leave them in there for that whole you know, two to three week period. It's not gonna hurt anything. And like I said, they're still going to be potent enough to kill off that next round of eggs. I've never, I've had two times that I've had to use these in my own personal collection. Like I said, the one time was when Apollo came in and he was just covered in them, did just what I said. It was two, three years before I had to use them again. And then I looked in and I seen that he had just a couple specks on him. Uh, so I went ahead, put those back in there again. Did the same thing, they're gone, no problems. I mean, you, you'll, not, you'll notice these things going away in a pretty short order when you use these. But like I said, you just gotta be careful with them. Make sure that you use in the appropriate size for the appropriate enclosure. Um, you, know, you can overdose on these things if you just throw a full one in there, like I said, in a really small enclosure. But if you screw them up to the sides, they'll do what they've gotta do. You don't have to worry about the snakes laying on them change the water every day and they're gone. All right. Most of us that have used these things for any number of years swear by them. And um, you know, like I said, there's, you'll get horror stories with anything. People talking about, yeah, this one pet shop, you know, killed one of their snakes with it. They probably killed their snake by doing what I described um, by overusing them. So as long as you're careful, as long as you use the right size for the right enclosure, you should be good. So I hope that helped a bit. Just wanted to put out a quick video on these things. And if you've got any questions, by all means, drop them down in the comments. If you've got any personal experiences with them, um, like I said, I've never actually heard firsthand of these hurting any snakes. If you have firsthand experience of using these and something bad happening to your snake, please let me know. I can add that into my assessment of them as I go forward using them. But like I said, in all the years that I've used them, hundreds of snakes, never seen an adverse reaction. They've always killed the mites. So you guys have an outstanding day and we will see you next time on Intrepid Exotics.